Chapter 1 In the eighth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of Jehovah unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo, the prophet, saying, Jehovah was sore displeased with your fathers. Therefore say thou unto them, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, Return unto me, saith Jehovah of hosts, and I will return unto you, saith Jehovah of hosts. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets cried, saying, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, Return ye now from your evil ways, and from your evil doings. But they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, saith Jehovah. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live for ever? But my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants the prophets, did they not overtake your fathers? And they turned and said, Like as Jehovah of hosts thought to do unto us, according to our ways, and according to our doings, so hath he dealt with us. Upon the four-and-twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is the month Shebat, in the second year of Darius, came the word of Jehovah unto Zechariah the son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo the prophet, saying, I saw in the night, and behold a man riding upon a red horse, and he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom, and behind him there were horses red, sorrel, and white. Then said I, O my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show thee what these are. And the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are they whom Jehovah hath sent to walk to and fro through the earth. And they answered the angel of Jehovah that stood among the myrtle trees, and said, We have walked to and fro through the earth, and, behold, all the earth sitteth still, and is at rest. Then the angel of Jehovah answered and said, O Jehovah of hosts, how long wilt thou not have mercy on Jerusalem, and on the cities of Judah, against which thou hast had indignation these threescore and ten years. And Jehovah answered the angel that talked with me with good words, even comfortable words. So the angel that talked with me said unto me, Cry thou, saying, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion, with a great jealousy, and I am very sore displeased with the nations that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Therefore thus saith Jehovah, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, saith Jehovah of hosts, and a line shall be stretched forth over Jerusalem. Cry yet again, saying, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, My cities shall yet overflow with prosperity, and Jehovah shall yet comfort Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. And I lifted up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, what are these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And Jehovah showed me four smiths. Then said I, What come these to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head, but these are come to terrify them, to cast down the horns of the nations, which lifted up their horn against the land of Judah, to scatter it. End of chapter 1 
Chapter 2 And I lifted up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. Then said I, Whither goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him, and said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as villages without walls, by reason of the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I, saith Jehovah, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and I will be the glory in the midst of her. Ho, ho, flee from the land of the north, saith Jehovah, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heavens, saith Jehovah. Ho, Zion, escape, thou that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith Jehovah of hosts, After glory hath he sent me unto the nations which plundered you, for he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake my hand over them, and they shall be a spoil to those that served them. And ye shall know that Jehovah of hosts hath sent me. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith Jehovah. And many nations shall join themselves to Jehovah in that day and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, and thou shalt know that Jehovah of hosts hath sent me unto thee. And Jehovah shall inherit Judah as his portion in the holy land, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Be silent all flesh before Jehovah, for he is waked up out of his holy habitation. End of chapter 2 Chapter 3 And he showed me Joshua the high priest, standing before the angel of Jehovah, and Satan standing at his right hand to be his adversary. And Jehovah said unto Satan, Jehovah rebuke thee, O Satan! Yea, Jehovah that hath chosen Jerusalem, rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments, and was standing before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take the filthy garments from off him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with rich apparel. And I said, Let them set a clean mitre upon his head. So they set a clean mitre upon his head, and clothed him with garments. And the angel of Jehovah was standing by. And the angel of Jehovah protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, If thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou wilt keep my charge, then thou also shalt judge my house, and shalt also keep my courts, and I will give thee a place of access among these that stand by. Hear now, O Joshua the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men that are a sign. For behold, I will bring forth my servant the branch. For behold, the stone that I have set before Joshua, upon one stone are seven eyes. Behold, I will engrave the graving thereof, saith Jehovah of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day. In that day, saith Jehovah of hosts, shall ye invite every man his neighbor 
under the vine and under the fig tree. End of chapter 3 Chapter 4 And the angel that talked with me came again, and waked me, as a man that is wakened out of his sleep. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have seen, and behold, a candlestick, all of gold, with its bowl upon the top of it, and its seven lamps thereon. There are seven pipes to each of the lamps, which are upon the top thereof, and two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. And I answered and spake to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these are? And I said, No, my lord. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of Jehovah unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith Jehovah of hosts. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth the top stone with shoutings of grace, grace unto it. Moreover the word of Jehovah came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that Jehovah of hosts hath sent me unto you. For who hath despised the day of small things? For these seven shall rejoice, and shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel. These are the eyes of Jehovah, which run to and fro through the whole earth. Then answered I, and said unto him, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick, and upon the left side thereof? And I answered the second time, and said unto him, What are these two olive branches, which are beside the two golden spouts, that empty the golden oil out of themselves? And he answered me, and said, Knowest thou not what these are? And I said, No, my lord. Then said he, These are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. End of chapter 4 Chapter 5 Then again I lifted up mine eyes, and saw and behold, a flying roar. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roar. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole land. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off on the one side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off on the other side according to it. I will cause it to go forth, saith Jehovah of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall abide in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift up now thine eyes, and see what is this that goeth forth. And I said, What is it? And he said, This is the ephah that goeth forth. He said, Moreover, This is their appearance in all the land. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead, and this is a woman sitting in the midst of the ephah. And he said, This is wickedness. And he cast her down into the midst of the ephah, and he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof. 
Then lifted I up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, there came forth two women, and the wind was in their wings. Now they had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the ephah between earth and heaven. Then said I to the angel that talked with me, Whither do these bear the ephah? And he said unto me, To build her a house in the land of Shinar, and when it is prepared, she shall be set there in her own place. End of chapter 5 Chapter 6 And again I lifted up mine eyes, and saw, and behold, there came four chariots out from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of brass. In the first chariot were red horses, and in the second chariot black horses, and in the third chariot white horses, and in the fourth chariot grizzled strong horses. Then I answered and said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these, my lord? And the angel answered and said unto me, These are the four winds of heaven which go forth from standing before the Lord of all the earth. The chariot wherein are the black horses goeth forth toward the north country, and the white went forth after them, and the grizzled went forth toward the south country, and the strong went forth, and sought to go that they might walk to and fro through the earth. And he said, Get you hence, walk to and fro through the earth. So they walked to and fro through the earth. Then cried he to me, and spake unto me, saying, Behold, they that go toward the north country have quieted my spirit in the north country. And the word of Jehovah came unto me, saying, Take of them of the captivity, even of Heldai, of Tobijah, and of Jediah, and come thou the same day, and go into the house of Josiah, the son of Zephaniah, whither they are come from Babylon. Yea, take of them silver and gold, and make crowns, and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and speak unto him, saying, Thus speaketh Jehovah of hosts, saying, Behold the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of his place, and he shall build the temple of Jehovah. Even he shall build the temple of Jehovah, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne, and he shall be a priest upon his throne, and the counsel of peace shall be between them both and the crowns shall be to Helam, and to Tobijah, and to Jediah, and to Hen, the son of Zephaniah, for a memorial in the temple of Jehovah. And they that are far off shall come, and build in the temple of Jehovah, and ye shall know that Jehovah of hosts hath sent me unto you. And this shall come to pass, if ye will diligently obey the voice of Jehovah your God. End of chapter 6 Chapter 7 And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius, that the word of Jehovah came unto Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month, even in Kislev, now they of Bethel had sent Sherezer and Regamelech and their men to entreat the favor of Jehovah, and to speak unto the priests of the house of Jehovah of hosts, and to the prophets, saying, Should I weep in the fifth month, separating myself, as I have done these so many years? Then came the word of Jehovah of hosts unto me, saying, Speak unto all the people of the land, and to the priests, saying, 
when ye fasted and mourned in the fifth and in the seventh month even these seventy years did ye at all fast unto me even to me and when ye eat and when ye drink do not ye eat for yourselves and drink for yourselves should ye not hear the words which Jehovah cried by the former prophets, when Jerusalem was inhabited and in prosperity, and the cities thereof round about her, and in the south and the lowland, were inhabited? And the word of Jehovah came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus hath Jehovah of hosts spoken, saying, Execute true judgment and show kindness and compassion every man to his brother and oppress not the widow nor the fatherless the sojourner nor the poor and let none of you devise evil against his brother in your heart but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they might not hear yea they made their hearts as an adamant stone lest they should hear the law and the words which jehovah of hosts had sent by his spirit by the former prophets therefore there came great wrath from jehovah of hosts and it is come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear so they shall cry and i will not hear said jehovah of hosts but i will scatter them with a whirlwind among all the nations which they have not known thus the land was desolate after them so that no man passed through nor returned for they laid the pleasant land desolate end of chapter seven